seat that take off your shoes. Yeah, oh yeah, take off the socks too. That. So, uh, how are you doing? Huh? Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. Today we're taking a look at another Marvel figure and it's the Red She-Hulk from the Hulk at Marvel Legends figure set. So yes, I have been waiting for this figure for a while. I got this with my uh, other three Hulk figures. I got all four of these Hulk figures for $80 shipped, which was a really good price because I think this figure alone uh, right now is going for about $40, uh, which is kind of crazy, but um, it's a really cool figure. I remember when it first came out, I kind of wish I would have picked it up back then. Um, this was, of course, a um, alternate figure. Uh, we had the green Hulkette uh, and the red uh, She-Hulk here, and uh, it's a Build-A-Figure. You get Hit Monkey out of it, uh, which this uh, uh, particular figure, the, uh, the little chicks here, they came with the body. Uh, which was kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Here we have the Red She-Hulk in box, and this is the old style uh, Marvel Legends uh, figure set, uh, Build-A-Figure, which is kind of interesting uh, how they've changed the box sets uh, now. This is the old kind of clamshell-like. Uh, we've got the Red Hulk here. It says Hulk X because you could have got the Red Hulk, uh, She-Hulk, or you could have got the green She-Hulk with the red hair. I forget her name. She was in the comics for a minute, but I cannot recall her to save my life right now. Um, it is a Build-A-Figure. You get Hit Monkey, and we have his body, which is very, very strange and creepy. I may have to get the other figures just to finish off this bloody thing so I don't have part of a monkey hanging around. Uh, um, but yeah, she comes with this sword. I don't know why. I don't ever remember her having this weird sword. Kind of looks like something that would come with a transformer, actually. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's really about it for the box. Uh, on the side here, it shows you, hey, you can build Hit Monkey. Uh, there she is. Hulkettes. There's the artwork. Uh, that does look pretty cool. I do like it. Uh, Marvel Legends. Nothing on the bottom, nothing on the side. Here is the back of the package. Again, we have a larger piece of artwork, and I think that's actually out of the comics. And then we got the signature of the artist up here, which is pretty cool. There's a little write-up on the Hulkettes. Um, and then uh, the Build-A-Figure, which there were only three, well, actually four figures, if you count the alternates here, to make Hit Monkey, which was kind of interesting. This is one of the smallest Marvel Legends sets, I think, that was actually out there. Um, but yeah, so there are the other figures in the wave. There's Hit Monkey. Um, there's the write-up. If you want to pause and read that, you can. Uh, here's kind of a shot of the artwork. How you doing? Yeah, looking pretty cool. And then the signature of the artist. Very, very cool stuff. So let's go ahead and get Red She-Hulk out of the package and see what we think. So here we have the Red She-Hulk out of package, and I really do like her sculpt. However, she is kind of a mess to pose, uh, which is really kind of unfortunate. The articulation on this figure has its good points and its bad points. Um, she does have a ball joint on the head. She could look down pretty well, but because of all the hair, she can't really look up. She does have an ab crunch, but it really kind of only goes up. It doesn't go down too far because of her huge boobs. Um, she has no waist swivel, which is a shame. She does have uh, joints at the hips. She's got some swivels uh, at the hips there. She has a double uh, jointed knee, which is really nice, and she has a very jointed uh, ankle, but there's no ankle pivot, so the legs are really, really well done. The arms, however, the joints are so tight, you feel like they're going to break, and you really can't get her in all of that great of poses with the arms. I wish she was able to get her uh, fists directly onto her hips and kind of, you know, uh, having this kind of uh, bodybuilder pose. I think that would have been really cool, but alas, uh, it's kind of hard to get her to do anything like that. Um, she does come with this sword. I mean, this, this, it's painted nice. I like it. It looks cool, but it just does not fit the figure. 
Um, is this from the comics? If you know, leave a, a note down below. I don't ever remember her with this sword. Um, it literally looks like something from the Fall of Cybertron toy line. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of chuck that over to the side. Here is the creepy, headless, armless hit monkey. Uh, zombie monkey. Uh, <laughs> I've got so many of these things. I may just put a bunch of random parts together and make a monster. Uh, it's sculpted really well. I really wouldn't mind finishing the little hit monkey out, actually, to be honest. But yeah, so here's the figure. Just kind of a close-up. And I'll do some uh, close shots as well. I mean, she sculpted beautifully. Look at the hair. Looks really nice. I would have liked a little bit more shadowing in there, but that'd be kind of hard to do and keeping it all black like that. I like the red highlights. Uh, love the eyes, the yellow eyes, the black uh, lipstick. She could probably use a little bit more lipstick. Uh, she has some huge cleavage. Uh, very nice, very cool. Loving the sculpt. The arms look good. I like the gloves, the detail on the buckles and the knuckles. Looks really nice. I'd have preferred if this was an all black and didn't have the purple, but it is what it is. Um, the legs look really nice. She's got legs for miles. Uh, yeah, I mean, all around a well done figure. Um, I do like it. Um, they, I, I think they did a really good job with her. Um, very, very nice. It's just posability. And a lot of these Marvel figures are like that. You've got to get them into the proper pose, especially if you don't have a toy stand, uh, which is an issue. I wish they would come with them and make it a lot easier. Once again, a nice really close up of her head sculpt and the hair. I think it looks really, really nice. They did a wonderful, wonderful job with the figure. For comparison, here we have the Red She-Hulk with uh, Marvel Legends Rocket Raccoon and Groot. Here she is with the Marvel Legends Ultimate Spider-Woman. I really like these two together. This really shows off the scale nicely. Um, you know, I always thought Spider-Woman to be kind of a shorter woman, and then I always thought of the She-Hulks as being kind of taller Amazonian-type women, and this works out well and is going to look awesome up on my female hero shelf. Here's the Red She-Hulk with the Marvel Legends Spider-Man 2099. Here she is next to the Marvel Legends Carnage. Here's the Red She-Hulk with the Walgreens exclusive Agent Venom and... Man, I don't know about the scale on this one. It seems like it's a little bit off, like he should be a little bit taller, but at the same time, she is a Hulk. I don't know. What do you guys think? Here she is next to the Mezco 112 Dark Knight Returns Batman, and this is a pretty good scale. I like these two together. I, in fact, there's very few figures this Batman doesn't sit well next to. And now the comparison we all want to see, let's compare the Red She-Hulk with all of her Hulk brethren. Here she is next to the Incredible Hulk, the Green Hulk, the David Banner Hulk. And as you can tell, he is much bigger than she is, which I mean, he is in the comics as well, but it's a little bit more than what I normally see in the uh, artwork on the cartoon and in the comics, but I mean, it's okay. I don't mind it too much because I always like the Hulk to be a bigger brute and the She-Hulk still has to have that femininity about herself and this figure absolutely captures that. And here's the Red She-Hulk with the Ultimate Grey Hulk or Joe Fix-It or whatever you want to call this guy. You know, I think this scale works a lot better than it does with the Incredible Hulk, the Green Hulk. Um, it just looks more accurate to me. But, uh, yeah, I just while he's the weakest of the three male hulks that I've got, uh, he definitely fits in scale better with her. And finally, here we have the Red She-Hulk with the Red Hulk, and they look really, really good together. Again, I think she's just a little bit too small in comparison to this Hulk, but it balances out when she sits with the other figures, I guess. Uh, she's a very bright red where he's kind of a darker red, uh, which is interesting. Of course, these are very far apart, I believe, in when they were produced, but they still look good together. They both look very comic booky, and I do appreciate it. Of course, she is Betty Ross. This is General Thunderbolt Ross, uh, both of them red hulking out, and I really love that concept. Hopefully, we get a uh, an updated version of this. I wouldn't mind a repaint retool where she's got the full black leather outfit 
versus this purple and black spandex one, um, I think it'd be a lot cooler and maybe more in the red color that this guy is in would definitely be an easy pickup for me. So is the Red She-Hulk a figure you want in your Marvel toy collection? You know, I'm going to say yes. Uh, she's kind of hard to get to find nowadays, so if you see her, I would for sure pick her up. She is sculpted well. I love the hair. I love the design with the red streaks, the yellow eyes, and uh, the black lipstick. That all looks really great. She's done well. Um, the biggest drawback to her is the severe lack of opposability. Um, if the arms were a little bit more poseable, I think I would like this figure a lot better. And the outfit is not to my taste. I would prefer, instead of the black and purple spandex, uh, to get the kind of the black leather outfit with the black leggings or shorts or something. Uh, but I like the gloves. I like the head sculpt. I like the upper body. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's all around. It's a good figure. I can't knock it. Those are really just kind of nitpicks. If anything. Uh, she's definitely worth filling out a Hulk collection for sure. So there she is, the Red She-Hulk from the Hulkettes Marvels collection. If you guys like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. What do you think of this figure? Did you get the other Hulket figure? Do you have any of the other She-Hulk figures? I'd love to hear your comments down below. Thank you again for subscribing to my channel, sharing my videos. I really do appreciate that. It's you, the fans, that make a channel. And as always, look for more videos in the future.